Everyone wishes they could reach a point where they never have to worry about money again. And no, I don't mean the afterlife. I'm referring to achieving financial freedom within your lifetime. Financial freedom is the ability to have the life you want without the burden of meticulous budgeting. The key lies in allowing your money to work for you by strategically investing it in areas that yield substantial returns. There's no value in assets that generate no income. In this video, I'll be discussing the places where you should consider investing your money so you can get financial freedom. But before we dive in, let's get a glimpse into the life of John and Sophie. Ever since John first learned to walk, he's believed that the path to success meant completing his education, graduating with a degree in a promising field, and securing a job with a decent income. He remained devoted to this job throughout his life, only realizing too late that it couldn't fulfill most of his aspirations. John found himself trapped, his job falling short of the promises made to him. He remained burdened by student and household debt, unable to enjoy vacations, and reliant on financing for significant purchases. For a time, he felt disillusioned by the system. As Sophie grew up, she realized that emulating her parents' approach to finances wouldn't lead to the life she wanted, that simply having a good job wouldn't provide the freedom and financial security that she desired. To break free from this conventional system, she aimed to be her own boss and learn from successful individuals. Following Warren Buffett's advice, she surrounded herself with accomplished people for learning and inspiration. Sophie learned the strategy of investment, giving her the ability to shape the life she wanted. Warren Buffett, billionaire CEO and chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, recommends opting for assets capable of generating income. Suppose you chose a non-productive asset like gold, instead of a productive one that not only earns money but also reinvests pays dividends, or acquires stocks. In that case, you would now possess an asset with a value over 100 times greater than what you would have had with the non-productive alternative. Avoid purchasing assets solely with the hope that their value will appreciate when someone else buys them at a higher price in the future. While this isn't inherently wrong, it isn't the most optimal strategy. Warren Buffett, for instance, favors acquiring businesses, hospitals, or assets capable of generating continuous income. Buffett values the potential for long-term outperformance offered by buying stocks as opposed to fixed income assets. If you're interested in following Buffett's approach towards investing, here are some key pointers to keep in mind. Firstly, Buffett doesn't simply follow the crowd when it comes to making investment decisions. While others are buying, he often takes the opposite approach, and when they're selling, he sees opportunities to buy. Secondly, adopt a long-term perspective in your investments. Avoid purchasing stocks with the intention of seeking rapid profits. Warren Buffett firmly believes in the importance of patience for equity investors. When the market appears to be declining, he sees it as an ideal time to buy, akin to the idea of the storm before the calm or the darkness before the dawn. His philosophy centers on the creation of wealth through the power of compound growth. To reap the rewards of this strategy, patience is key. Thirdly, to succeed as an investor, it's crucial to invest in what you understand. Randomly buying interesting stocks isn't smart. Understanding a company thoroughly is vital before investing. This knowledge helps in recognizing opportunities. For long-term investments, continuous learning is essential, which means regular reassessment of assumptions and seeking more information. Elon Musk recently tweeted about a significant factor driving the surge of investments, highlighting how people are shifting their funds from low-interest savings accounts to higher-interest money markets. He also expressed concern that an ill-advised rate hike could exacerbate this trend. History has repeatedly shown that cash isn't a dependable asset, and recent issues with major American banks only serve to solidify this reality. As confidence in the banking system wanes, individuals are actively seeking more secure avenues to safeguard their wealth. Buffett is often regarded as one of the most intelligent investors today, so aspiring investors would be wise to take inspiration from his strategies in the stock market. His decisions are well-informed, 
making them valuable benchmarks for those looking to navigate the market. Even seasoned investors often follow his lead. Here are my top eight recommendations to buy and hold. Amazon is a powerhouse in the e-commerce and cloud industry, making $500 billion in merchandise sales in the last year alone. Amazon's projected growth stands at 9.2% for 2023 and 13.9% for 2024. And its revenue streams encompass various services like Prime, Kindle, Unlimited, and third-party seller commissions. Given its ongoing growth potential, investing in Amazon is a secure option. Additionally, United Rentals is a strong investment choice due to its position as a major global provider of industrial and construction equipment rentals. Furthermore, economic uncertainty doesn't hinder its spending on manufacturing, infrastructure, and construction. The company's recent rollout of dividends reflects confidence in its future growth. United Rentals is also featured on Bank of America's growth and value lists, highlighting its potential. Chipotle Mexican Grill, a fast food chain with thousands of restaurants, efficiently manages finances. It decreased expenses as a percentage of revenue and can offset rising costs with menu price increases, ensuring financial stability. Despite potential customer shifts due to this strategy, the company's presence spans multiple countries, and expansion plans include adding over 255 new restaurants in the next year. CEO Brian Nicole notes that while this strategy may result in some lower income customers shifting away, it's also attracting higher income households. Chipotle's presence extends across several countries, including the UK, France, Germany, Canada, and the United States, with plans for expansion into additional locations. The company is gearing up to introduce at least 255 new eateries in the coming year. You don't necessarily need an in-depth knowledge of accounting, intricate stock market jargon, or even the Federal Reserve's intricate decision-making process, such as predicting how many times they might raise interest rates in the future to achieve financial freedom through investing. What truly matters is adhering to a sound investment philosophy that you can understand and can consistently follow. It's about understanding why you've chosen this path and then abstaining from attempting tasks beyond your understanding. In essence, focus on what you know and believe in while disregarding the rest. Progressive Insurance stands as one of the United States' foremost auto insurance companies, holding a prominent position in motorcycle and commercial auto insurance markets. In the final quarter of 2022, Progressive faced a 3% annual increase in its loss ratio within the personal line segment, as reported by Joshua Shanker, an analyst at Bank of America. However, it's important to understand that despite this increase, Progressive added an extra 69,000 personal auto insurance policies on a monthly basis. Shanker highlights the exceptional strength of this growth, especially when compared to the relatively lackluster performance of Progressive's competitors in the automotive industry. He anticipates a robust 21.5% growth in sales for the company in 2023, which significantly bolsters Progressive's overall position in the market. As of recent data, Apple remains the most valuable publicly traded company with a market capitalization of $2.55 trillion. Within the corporate world, Berkshire Hathaway's holdings in Apple stand out as the largest, encompassing approximately 895 million shares valued at $122 billion as of June 30th. These holdings constitute a substantial 41% of Warren Buffett's overall holdings within Berkshire Hathaway at the close of the second quarter. This substantial investment by one of the world's wealthiest investors serves as a noteworthy vote of confidence in Apple's future prospects. With this in mind, you can confidently proceed with your investment decisions. Charter Communications, a major broadband company that competes closely with Comcast in the industry, operating in 41 states and serves 32 million customers with various services under the Spectrum brand. Its dominance in certain regions gives it pricing leverage, while its consistency with investments in infrastructure, shareholder returns, and discounted stock values makes it promising for investors seeking long-term returns. Coca-Cola, a renowned global brand has been a leader in the carbonated drink market for over a century, 
This company has consistently added value to investors' portfolios through its dependable dividend payouts and active share repurchase initiatives. Notably, Warren Buffett initiated his investment in Coca-Cola back in 1988, making it one of his favorite investments. In the coming years, Coca-Cola has plans to allocate over $30 billion for expansion in various developing markets across the globe. These efforts are yielding positive results, evidenced by an impressive 18% growth rate in Thailand, an 8% increase in India, and a 3% upswing in Russia. Dollar General, a renowned chain of discount retailers, specializes in providing everyday essentials at affordable prices in convenient neighborhood locations. The company offers a wide range of products, including its private label goods and well-known brands such as Clorox, Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, Kellogg's, General Mills, and others across 47 U.S. states. With a vast network comprising over 18,000 Dollar General stores, the company is steadily expanding to accommodate its growing revenue. In the third quarter of 2022, Dollar General's revenue saw an impressive 11.1% increase driven by new store openings and a robust 6.8% rise in same-store sales, despite encountering challenges like rising product costs affecting gross margins. The third quarter net income exhibited a commendable 8% increase. While Dollar General boasts an annualized three years dividend growth rate exceeding 13%, its current dividend yield stands at approximately 0.9%, which may leave some room for improvement. Nevertheless, the company has demonstrated its ability to thrive during economic hardships, benefiting from increased foot traffic and transaction activity during tougher economic conditions. Furthermore, Dollar General has plans to open 1,050 new stores in 2023. As we wrap up this video, remember that there are plenty of opportunities for you to shape your financial future. Whether you resonate more with Sophie's approach or John's, take a moment to assess your finances and consider starting with one of the assets or stocks discussed. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more valuable insights. Thanks for tuning in, and until our next video, stay safe and financially savvy.